Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to show you a very quick tip on animating stuff with motion effects using chops. So let's jump into it. Chops is a very interesting animation option for multiple different ways, things. Uh, and I will show you how fast and useful this is very quickly. So if you select any of the parameters here, for example, the transform, X, Y, Z, it doesn't matter. In this case, we're gonna play with the Y. And we are gonna right click and we're gonna go to motion effects. And here we can add any of these effects. So I'm gonna go ahead and add something like a, um, let's see, maybe we try noise. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create this. Um, and off the bat, if you move this here, if you hit play, you will see that you've already got off the bat an animation, right? Um, if we come back here, you will notice that what it's created, it created Chops Network with motion effects to it. And you will see that it created an expression in here, which is basically overriding this information based on the transform on the Y axis and noise at one. Noise at one, if you double click in here, you will notice that it's located inside here, noise one. So. This noise, this is the channel. It is transforming on the Y. Um, the frame rate you can change here. Um, and I mean, there's a few different things that you can change there, but we're not gonna go in there. What you want, what we're gonna look into is, is on the noise here. So the noise, this parameters here are basically the same ones as here but it's kind of nice to have it um, in here so that we can control it outside of inside the net of the network. So if we open this up a little bit, you will notice that we've got multiple different things. So we've got spars. So we play, we can kind of like go through them and see the difference that these things make in here. Um, See that? And then you can play with the the seed, um, the period, meaning like how long it's gonna take for it to do that. The harmonics, you'll see that it creates like different, um, you know, it makes it more, it's almost like more rough, like it's, it's adding more of those things. This exponential, can control like how much you want this to move and of course the amplitude it's self-explanatory um, so this is a very useful tool that I will show you it basically works with anything like you can do that with the scale and with all of the axes if you wanted so if we right click here and we do motion effects and we do, say for example, a spring. You'll see that it created a spring here. Actually, now let's do another noise. Motion effects, noise. You'll see that it automatically created the noise, but this noise number two is affecting the transform on the S, which is referring to the scale here. So you see that it's changing the scale on all of the axes. Extremely dramatic though. So, I mean, we can reduce it. But you can see how um, this tool can be super, super helpful. All right guys, I'm leaving the project file there for you guys and um, I'll be back with more.